Hello everybody, Gamer Penny here bringing you another episode of our Hogwarts Legacy Let's Play and we are back with Vesper. Today we're going to go find our common room. Um looks like it's up. Deep breath. This should be interesting. Oh wow. Must be different starting cool. your fifth year. What's the... <sighs> I suppose some introductions are in order. <laughs> this should be interesting. Introduce yourself to Amit, Everett, and Samantha. One moment. Watch this. Ugh. What is this? It's someone threw a dumb box. <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> that wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh well. What did you hope would happen? I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. Actually a tad nervous. Harrowing indeed. I'm still a bit on edge myself. And a little nervous for classes to start. Oh, you needn't be worried. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb. And I'm still here. Wait. Did you say most professors are firm but fair? Ha! <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bong back to me. Nice meeting you! You too, Everett. Okay. Amit and Samantha. I'm not sure this is the right spot. Eating an apple. I want him to be in the perfect place. A place he'll be happy with. But I can't seem to find it. Great golden gobstones! I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones? <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seedling from home and I so want him to feel cozy. Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power and such a little plant. <laughs> I've a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Dittany used in Wivenworld Potion? It is. Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about Wivenworld Potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory. It seems to know a lot about practical magic. Interesting. Um... Professor Fig does know a great deal about um, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wiganweld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a Ravenclaw, isn't it? Ordinarily, perhaps, but it runs in my family. We've a full plot of these little fellows back home. I suppose you could say herbology is in my roots. Do most students grow their own ingredients? Is it common practice for students to grow their own ingredients? Oh, yes. In fact, our herbology teacher, Professor Garlic, encourages it. And I don't think Professor Sharp, our potions master, cares where you get your ingredients, as long as your brews are all perfect. Cool. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your Dittany. Thank you. And good luck to you, too, on your first day. All right, that was Samantha. Now, Amit. That's just brilliant, Amit. Brilliant. You'd think you could... Ah! That is not how that... Why, hello. Would you like to take a look? Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit, 
pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I recommend it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Um, oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. I hope astronomy is on my schedule. It sounds interesting. I have good news for you. You are most definitely taking astronomy. It is required for all fifth years. You will be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you. <laughs> okay. New Ravenclaw. So they definitely said Ravenclaws all love to learn and um, have a penchant for knowledge. So I can definitely feel that <laughs> with the three that we just met. Meet Professor Weasley outside the common room. Right here? Downstairs. Okay. Hello. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, You'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Okay. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What's this? What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you cool. master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Okay. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Stay here forever. Better than my I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Why don't you cast Ravello on this bust? and see what details the field guide can provide. Revelio. Revelio. Oh no, there's collectibles. <laughs> okay. Bus created in honor of Ravenclaw House resides in the lofty Ravenclaw Tower. You just unlocked a field guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges appears here. One out of two. Okay, field guide challenges are the only way to acquire experience points or XP. Oh, okay. Open the field guide. What is that? This is your wizarding level. XP earned from challenges increases your level and power. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the challenges menu to continue. Field guide pages. Ah, each challenge has tiers. Special rewards unlock at each tier you complete. 
from appearances to critical upgrades. Rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. Interesting. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that. Inside and outside of the castle. Tons of Revelio. Okay. No time to waste. You have classes to attend. I love that the paintings move. That's one thing I do know about the um the movies. Oh, what is this? One What do you do here? Oh, there's something here. Unicorn. Okay, we'll come back for this because I'm not quite sure what to do with that. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Blue flames? Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house common rooms and the great hall. You want this. In this view, you can see flu flames available in that region. Green flu flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own house common room. Gray flu flames reveal the location of undiscovered flames. The right side of the map is where you find academic points of interest, including the Astronomy Tower, Library, and Greenhouses. Okay. Select the Library Annex to continue. Professor Weasley has unlocked a Central Hall Flu Flame for you. Use R to rotate the map and fast travel to Central Hall Flu Flames with X. Oh, it's like... Oh, okay, okay, okay. So we can fast and travel in the game, are. which is good. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Cool. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. I took my copy at that should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Um, can you tell me more about Hogsmeade? You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with Ooh. friends in due course. I had a butterbeer at Universal Studios. It was okay. <laughs> it was really sweet. Um... Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Or... Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. Okay. What will I learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. 
Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding mm. your arrival. He asked us not to tell. about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... Mm, I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well... <laughs> I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's <laughs> path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Okay. Good luck today. And remember to I like use Professor Weasley. your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. All right, hey, Professor. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. On the map? This symbol represents main quest. Completing main quest will further the story, unlock new features, and grant XP. Some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. In these cases, you will need to be the required level and or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor assignments or as quest rewards. Track a quest with A to continue. Defense against the dark arts. Do that one. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, Focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. All right, let's go to class then. Oh, here's another one of those things.
interesting. It's a flu on flame. On adventure, are we? All right, let's begin this quest. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean <laughs> black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. Cool. To the wise, age matters very little. Today, we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Okay. Let me also. Oh. Alright, we did it. I don't know why those make me nervous, but they make me nervous. <laughs> like I might mess it up. Got the feather. Now, let's try something a little larger. <laughs> okay. Let us begin with a basic cost. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprise good. Now, well done. Excellent. <laughs> Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Oh gosh. Levioso. <laughs> lucky. Nothing lucky about it. Oh. I know. This can't be Get him out of there! Yeah! We did it! Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. You didn't even get a hit in. I hate her smile. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Thank you, Professor Heckert. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So. I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. 
again. Well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Okay. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Hello, friend. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. No. <laughs> Fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Unsanctioned? I don't know. School rules are in place for a reason. Yes, to keep students in the dark. So many things we're deemed unprepared to know. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Of course, he's a Whether Slytherin. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Okay. Till next time. Bye. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. You? Alright, now. The next class, go to Charms class. Do do do. Do do. And I'm glad they have good quest tracking because I would be so lost in this place. I mean, I think that's the whole point of Hogwarts, but... Who is screaming? We sometimes have to remind him to go on Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the last time I sent her an owl from Hogwarts. Something was dinging. Of course that makes sense. There's a flu flame. I doubt there's ever been a You can't imagine the how we join the goblins in the upright. Where were you? In the goblin rebellion? All those things. And by the end of it, that a floating clown? The for magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! Rebellion. I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling I'm lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Ooh, fine! So the up is three, the zero, or the minister five. Stop it, Peeves! You'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a boo, and he says three it's and a two. Flag. Peeves, enough! You'll get us all detention. <sighs> and you're both wrong anyway. So it that was thing. It wasn't boots and it wasn't flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> oh, three and two. So I need a unicorn here. No. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, the owl maybe. Okay, that thing, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and what? Unicorn? Four and two. four and two. Like, I wish this could be a unicorn. Because that would be two. Revelio. 
Okay, four and two, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I need that crab thing on this thing. The crab thing. Three, zero, and... It has to be the unicorn. Let me try the owl. No! Oh, it keeps going back to this thing. Okay, open. No. Okay, um, maybe it's not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe it's... Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There has to be something that's over eight. So the spider. Okay. Twelve. Eighteen. No, twelve, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. It's time two, so it has to be nine. So it, can it be this weird? Oh, it's spider again. Oh, can it be that weird thing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can this be spider? No, oh, I don't know. I give up. <laughs> I'll figure that out later. I don't quite know. All right, let's go to class. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Oh, hello. Thank, Thank you. you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> hmm? uh, 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 I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, mm. <laughs> Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. <laughs> okay. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. <laughs> Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. 
Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. I would like a professor that takes us outside. <laughs> that would be very nice. But what are we doing outside? <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> <sighs> Uh oh, this looks like a game. <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? <laughs> Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last Excellent. Good. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you ask, that's it. Ah! That oh. to the best of us. Very good. A little bit through the orange. Okay. Very good. Points to Ravenclaw. Ooh, but thank there's you. certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before. Oh, God. Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. I think I just hit her into the... No, nope, we got 30. Okay. Oh, she got a 50. The fifty, yes. Well done. Here we go. That is how it's done. Ah, uh, I think I put it in the thirty. Ah, oh, dang. <laughs> I won. Dang it. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall more we? More interesting? I lost already, though. Oh, God. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. <laughs> I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Be sharp. Oh. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's see here. Not here. Yes. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Okay. <laughs> Watch this. Oof. Okay. Yeah. Did I hit her into the 50? Done. No, I didn't. Okay. 
did. Okay. Oh, hers got pushed off. No! No! Mine got pushed off. I didn't know. <laughs> we tied! Summoner's court tied. <laughs> oh, I messed up that last one. I thought it got hit by the well box too much. Both of you. Well done. Choked. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. A tight game. It turns out we were evenly matched. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. Wagadu. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Um... This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Really? You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me. Mm. This enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Hi, I like her. Ooh. Of course, you can use a word Akio if you friends. would. Okay. If you're so inclined. You wanted to speak with me, Professor. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation. Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? And what a close match between you and Miss Onai. Invigorating. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now... Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. All right. Okay, so I think with our two classes out of the way... Ooh, level two. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and end this episode here, and we will carry on in the next episode. So, guys... I want to thank you so much for all of your support on this series. If you do want to see more of the Harry Potter, nope, Hogwarts Legacy <laughs> Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. All right, bye-bye, everyone.